Rust. Life or death. Persistence or abandonment. Bravery or cowardice. Compassion or indifference. Survive or perish. This is Rust. And before any of those things occur, we all start out in one place. Many have asked, how do I get my start? Well, At first, if you don't succeed, try again. Stop. <sighs> His name's No Skills. Oh, bro. You had to hit me while I'm standing still, mate. I guess you live up to your name. <laughs> I should mention that you will die many times. But don't be discouraged just yet. Just try not to take it too seriously. And sometimes, amidst the chaos, it's good to lend a hand. Oh, oh, this boy's trying to boost. Fuck it, I'll give him a hand. I'll help, I'll help, I'll help. Hey, bro, bro, you wanna help us boost out yeah. here? Yep. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> Like, they just gave away, they just murdered their free help. That's, that's it. And <laughs> don't let that discourage you either, because some people are far more grateful. I was about to break into song then, but I heard a thump. Hello. Just making a base, are ya? This actually looks like a safe area, so you, I think you've chosen well. There's a few shitty ones around here. Can't really hear you, the background music's so fucking loud. Hang on, let me turn it down. Oh, turn, turn that shit off, mate. Alright, there we go. Oh my god. Yeah, don't don't play with that, it's distracting. Also, you gotta lock your door. You haven't locked it yet. How do I... Oh, I'm new to this game, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Have you played... How many hours do you have? Have you played much of this game? No, not really. <laughs> It's okay, pretty so much see, my second game. Okay, see how there's a green light there? You gotta hold E and you gotta create a key. Otherwise, I can open it. See? There you go, now I can't. Oh, oh I see. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you. This guy was very new to the game and it was clear that he needed a bit of a rundown about basic mechanics. So I gave him one, which I'll speed up just for the sake of time. Yeah, alright. Thanks for the help, man. Yeah, it can be pretty overwhelming, so don't be too stressed. Key locks are pretty shit. You want to get a code lock pretty as soon as possible. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I just all these players just keep fucking killing me every time. Yeah, yeah, it happens. I had no idea that people could just open wooden doors, and I left all my shit in my house, and now it's all gone. Yeah, because it wasn't locked. Now I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what rust is. You learn, and and you know, I, I learned yeah. the hard way, I guess, but. Sometimes a little help is nice. Hey, mate. Alright, good luck, mate. Thanks, man. Now, let's not get too distracted from the subject at hand. How do I get started? Well, let me show you what happened with this life. Oh, hello. I like this crate spawn. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. And now that I've died several times, it's a good way to gauge 
the map and the bases and the locations in general. You can of course make a map, which I would advise now because it's five wood and it takes 10 seconds of craft. Thank you, Helk. But maps don't show bases, which is what we're looking at here. High majority of the time, I can't play Wipe Day, which means I'm playing on servers that have already been running for at least a day or two. And at that point, there are a lot of abandoned bases, like this one here, which is actually a little bit shit. You know, it's cramped, but it has the essential, it has a chest, has a cupboard, has a furnace, has a campfire. This would actually be a pretty great starter base. But that open door with the sheet metal frame is a huge turnoff. Picking sheet metal at this early game is obnoxiously out of the question, so I'm gonna look for something better. Now, who remembers backwards doors? They were a lot of fun, but they were overpowered, so I can see why they were changed. But I would like to see hatches that are open and doors that are open, that are like sitting open, take the same damage that the backwards doors used to, so that abandoned bases could be more feasible to take over. It also prevents a couple of those stupid designs of bases having open doors as a way of prevention and protection in their base, which is a bit silly. There's another open door here, that's just sealed. Oh, someone here. Alright, well, uh, I've made a mate. <laughs> he seems to be pretty excited that I didn't murder him in cold blood. <laughs> He's also giving me the stuff from the barrels. What a lad. Thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs> if I keep talking like that, he'll probably want to smash me in the back of the head with his rock. Split me like a melon. I know I'd want to. Alright, I could probably settle in somewhere pretty soon. Oh, oh shit. Uh, run. Now. Shit, I don't have a weapon for him. I'll make you a spear, I'll make you a spear. <gasps> no. No! <sighs> you done goofed. Right. Shit. Right, 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 right. Shit, I can't loot. I'm full. No, 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 no. Ah! My mate. <laughs> I'll never forget what you did for me. I'll never forget. You motherfucker. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video. This is Rust. If you give up, you perish. Get back here. Whoops, I mind. <gasps> My rock! Shit. Alright, I might settle around here. See what I can find. I'm out. Bye. Are they... Oh yeah, here you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, cheers, bro. I'm having none of that, especially if I'm got shit on me and I'm trying to start a base. Just run the other way, kids. Now, at this point, there's a decision to be made. I have spent enough time gathering resources that now the stakes are higher and now I care whether I live or die and I don't have a base down. I'm just squatting in this base right now which is very unsafe and I need to either give in and build a base or find something suitable to take over. Considering how hostile this server has been already, I decided that I'm going to bag in a mate and together we can find something suitable. 
Alright, this place over here, the round one. I was looking at it before I bagged you. There's these rocks that I reckon we could boost on. Here. I'm not sure about ping, but I reckon we can do it. Oh, that's, not, that's possible. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there's a TC in there. <laughs> okay, uh, before I do that, I'm gonna cut some wood. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you got some, let's go. <laughs> Alright, well, this is it. We can take this over. Yep. Oh. There you go. Nice. Baby. Oh, okay. Well, they've just placed the furnace. There's a hundred wood in it. Like, they haven't used it. Although, the floor's quite a bit decayed. Like, they might have placed it and then died and lost a lot of stuff and got salty and then didn't come back. But that's not to say they won't come back. So, we better get cracking. Are oh, you dead? Hey! Well, Alright, three arrows. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that was so close to you! <laughs> They're shooting him pretty fast. There's two of them. Well, good. Keep wasting your arrows, mate. No dramas. Jeez. Yeah, they got bloody close to you. And you like, jumped across here? That was, here. yeah. The that was... Here. Clink. Is that that twig thing all the way up the top there? Yes. All right, well, let's go punish them for what they did. To our family. To the women and children. For the women and the children. Wow. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Do you know how to play Oh, this okay. Was he like out mining, was he? Yeah. He had two ice picks. Why would he... Run up to two people. Right. Why would he run up to two people on the side of a base after having just farmed, you know, with a sash, I... holding a two-handed weapon that looks very malicious? Don't run up to people like that. That was just reflexes. I couldn't, like, he just said hello right after I shot him in the face. He said hello just in your head shot him. That is also why people get killed. All right, so what do I do now? Now that I'm in a base, now that I'm secure somewhat, there are still two things that need to be done. First of all, the front door is still not ours, and building up into the base is a bit redundant. So that door frame, we need to break it. And thankfully, it's only stone, because if it were sheet metal, I wouldn't be here. But secondly, the base that's outside, the, the main base of this little furnace base that we took over, that needs to be ours. Because that base still holds the main cupboard, and that cupboard goes right up to our front door. So they could put a stone wall down and really bring a smile to my face. So let's prevent that. Because they could come back at any time. So we are one or two sheet metal doors away from securing that base. What does that mean? Well, time to farm our balls off. Beautiful. There's been a fair amount of gunfire, just keep your eyes out. There's dead bodies on the floor down there, just like three of them. Oh. Well, that will be it then. Yeah. Oh! oh. Ah! Okay, shot him. Another one, another one. Up the top. Mm -hmm. Hey, for the lower guy. Hit him. Hit him again. Again. Hey, shot him dead. Hit another one dead. Got him? Yep. That's right, dude. He rushed me. He tried to rush me. Distractions, distractions. Damn it. Pretty much what I expected, to be honest. Hello, this guy in here. Yes, hello. 
Hey, help me out. Hello, mate. What is this? Hello. Yes. What have you done? Oh. Oh. Okay. Nom nom nom. Yum yum yummy. Seriously, someone else? <laughs> we'll just wait a little bit before we blow. Sealed. Oh man. Oh ho ho. Alright, well, I'm in full control now. I'm established. I own all the TCs. There's no other structures in the way. Done. That's how I typically start out in Rust. And it's usually pretty circumstantial, obviously. However, unfortunately, this is a little bit obsolete as of yesterday. You know, right before I release this video. But Rust is an ever-evolving game, things are going to change anyway. It's hard to make a how-to video for any in-development game because things change all the time. The change is, is that cupboards can be code-locked and they're as strong as wooden doors. So pretty much, I'm assuming 95% of the time, you, there's going to be a code-locked cupboard, right? And if you want to take over an abandoned base, you're going to have to flamethrow it, which is not entirely a bad thing because it does prevent griefing, maybe in, in like a little shit shack. Um, there'll be a lot of open shit shacks with code locked cupboards because no one's going to want to grief that. Uh, however, on any sort of bigger base, I feel like the cupboard's just going to be in rocket radius anyway and it's going to break. Uh, or they're just going to break it and, and prevent... It's only a wood door if they want to prevent, you know, the inhabitants from coming back in the area. Um, I don't see griefing changing unless it's a little shit shack. I just see it being harder to take over abandoned bases. I don't know for sure because I haven't played the update. Um, that's my educated guess on what's going to happen with it. I just think abandoned bases are somewhat of an issue because they are a resource and an entity hog and decay is not quick enough to deal with them and I don't want decay quicker by any means but those big bases, they'll stay there forever and they'll never go away if they're abandoned or raided. So I'd like to see a way for them to be dealt with, not necessarily to get their loot but just to farm the existing structure, the existing foundation, the existing walls. Uh, allow them to be taken over easier like that open door thing that I suggested earlier Just little things like that that could be tweaked that could potentially Make the servers run better because there, there are a lot of issues in that department both client side and server side Anyway enough said about that. There's something else that needs to be discussed right here right now the big elephant in the room You can build tweak in privileged zones well Oh, I might as well pack up and leave, boys. Check your privilege. It's over. It's finished. I'm done for. <laughs> but what do I think as a seasoned Rust player that didn't play Legacy, mind you? I played a couple hours and, you know, I put it down because I thought that needed more time. I think it's a step in the right direction, but I don't think it's a full-blown solution. I don't like that quarries and compounds and furnaces are a bit useless because you have to babysit them. The best part about Check Your Privilege in general was that people put faith in the compounds and people put had comfort, uh, especially big clans that built too big too fast, that they could run around penis in hand, not a care in the world, and you'd jump in and snatch the bundle of balloons from their cold dead hands and they'd run around like headless chooks because life itself is crashing down. That was the best memories of Check Your Privilege. I commend Face Punch for being bold and for stepping out and for trying new things. Great, I'm all for that. Um, and this could be a good thing, but it's not perfect. And I could go on forever, but I really don't want to make this a very long video. So we'll save that for another time. It will be an interesting couple months and I hope Face Punch makes the right decisions going forward based on feedback, based on you know what works and what doesn't. I think it's a step in the right direction. That's my summary. 
And I don't have the big, hallelujah, like the big solution, you know, to fix everything and make everyone happy. Um, someone's always going to be unhappy about changes in general. Sometimes you need to rattle the cages and mix things up a bit. And that's when you'll find the sweet spot, only by doing. With that in mind, I have talked about doing non-Rust stuff before in the past. It's something that I will be doing, it's an eventuality. Um, but just keep in mind that it won't take away from Rust. I would like to keep Rust on Saturdays. If I do do a non-Rust video, it will be outside of that time slot. And I know I haven't uploaded every Saturday as of recently. Um, there's some legitimate issues and reasons for that. Um, one of them being I'm actually having a surgery, a minor surgery, a non-life-threatening surgery. But it's, it's invasive and it will affect my ability to do this job for maybe for a few days, maybe for a couple weeks. I don't know. It varies case by case. It's an ongoing issue which has affected my ability to make videos in the past. Um, but it's something that once this procedure is done, it will be a non-issue. Please check my Twitter for updates. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it in a pinned comment. If you don't know why there's not a video or what's happening, it's all said there. Now I'm going to wrap this video. It's way too long. Thank you again for the support. Uh, if you have patience in times where, you know, it's, it's a bit quieter than usual. But I hope to be back into the full swing of things by mid-June. Back with consistent uploads. Thanks again. I love you. Take care.